Luke here from Solid State Logic, back again bringing you a brand new update to SSL 360. With 1.4, we've released a new channel strip plugin modelled on the legendary 4000B console that works in the plugin mixer and controllable directly from the UC1 and UF8 control surfaces. We've also updated Channel Strip 2 with a new GUI refresh and some additional features. We've also bought a host of significant 360 plugin mixer feature additions, including follow selected door channel and solo cut in Studio One, Reaper, and Live, and added UF8 control layers to Luna and Pyramix workstations. And finally, in 1.4, the application is now Apple Silicone and ARM native, including both Channel Strip plugins and the Bus Compressor 2 plugin. You can find the new updated software in one of two ways either by locating the new update from the support page on the SSL website and proceeding to download the installer for your preferred operating system, or simply open the 360 app. Just select the Update button on the home screen, updating it to the latest version from here. UC1 and UFA owners will also notice a new firmware update is available following the 1.4 software update. This will be made visible underneath the controller icon, so simply click here to update. You can find the new 4KB channel strip on the SSL website download page, where you can select the download option for your operating system. At the same time, users who own Channel Strip 2 and Buscom 2 plugins will also need to download the free update for their installers, as these are necessary to be compatible with 360 1.4. And finally, for UC1 owners, you'll be pleased to hear that the 4KB channel strip is available to you free of charge. To claim your 4KB license, log into your SSL account and in your registered hardware section, select the additional software link from the UC1 tab. On the bundled software page, enter your iLock user ID into the box, wait for your iLock account to be authorised and then click deposit. Your 4KB license will be waiting for you in your iLock manager account, ready for you to authorise onto your machine or physical iLock. The 4KB plugin is emulated meticulously from the legendary 4000B, the first commercially released console by SSL one of which was famously installed in London's Townhouse Studios and influenced the sound of records such as Peter Gabriel's Intruder and Phil Collins' In the Air Tonight. With modelling down to a component level of every stage of the circuit, we're delighted to say the 4KB channel strip plugin lives up to the name, giving all the tone, punch and rich non-linear analogue character the console was revered for in a plugin you can use anywhere in your sessions. The circuit begins with a Jensen Transformer mic preamp, which can be inserted in the signal path and driven via a gain compensated knob, therefore retaining the set level whilst increasing harmonics from a gentle saturation to full blown distortion. Next, we've got the original 4K EQ, the precursor to the O2 Brown knob EQ found in the 4000D console and is every bit as musical and full of character. Then we come to the 4KB dynamic section. Using a circuit topology that closely resembles that of the SSL bus comp, with peak detection and sidechain VCA in a feedback loop, and additional DS controls to enable the compressor to function as a DSer, and the classic SSL dynamic gate with expander functionality too. We've also replicated the harmonic characteristics from the DBX202 black can VCA fader, giving another layer of harmonic color when driven, and a digital output trim to compensate for the additional gain. And of course, it's compatible with the SSL UC1 and utilizes the same controller layout, so jumping between Channel Strip 2 and 4KB plugins in your session is seamless. Now, let's take a quick look at the UC1 when we're controlling the 4KB plugin. For parameters and controls featured on the 4KB that do not have a physical representative control on the UC1, you can access these features via the Extended Functions menu by pressing the left facing arrow key next to the channel encoder. When in the Extended Functions menu, the menu encoder will allow the user to scroll through the available parameters. To select a parameter, simply click down on the encoder to confirm the selection. Then use the encoder to control the value which will be visually represented in the menu screen. Slight changes to conform the channel strip plugin GUI layouts also means that the VCA modeled fader control is now mapped to the output gain on the control surface, with a digital trim level available via the extended functions menu. It's also worth noting, the parameters for functions on the UC1 that aren't featured on the 4KB channel strip have no function and will remain inactive. These include fast attack and peak in the compressor section, the fast attack button and hold knob in the gate section, and the E EQ curves in the EQ section. Alongside the new 4KB channel strip, we've revised the GUI and added additional controls to channel strip 2 to bring both plugins in line with a unified design. With a revised layout, we've added compressor mix functionality, pan and width controls for stereo instances, pan control for mono to stereo instances, HQ mode for oversampling, and finally Apple Silicone ARM native compatibility. 
The integration into the 360 plugin mixer is also expanded to show the new controls and allow the channel strip plugins to be bypassed directly from the plugin mixer window. In addition to the channel strips, we've now updated the Bus Compressor 2 plugin with Apple Silicone ARM native compatibility. You'll also notice in response to user requests, in 360 under the UC1 tab, the meter calibration adjustment settings. When we click into this, we're able to accurately calibrate the hardware metering with the plugin, like so. The updated plugin mixer brings a raft of GUI tweaks and new features, with the most notable being the support for the new 4KB plugin, allowing you to mix and match flavours of channel strips within your sessions and control them both from 360. In addition to this, the solo, cut and selected door track select synchronisation has been implemented for Studio One, Reaper and Live when using VST3 format plugins. The new redesigned GUI has removed the two levels of zoom, replacing it with one more flexible view, the collapsible metering section and the option to switch between input and output metering. You'll also notice the door host name is now shown on the left hand menu and the channel strip bypass is now directly accessible next to the track name via the power button symbol. With 1.4, users can now also trigger the plugin mixer transport bar from your computer keyboard. Play and stop via the spacebar, Z for rewind, X for forward, L for loop cycle and R for record. Remember, these are Huey and MCU generated commands, so if you need a refresher on setting this up in your door, check out the previous 360 1.3 update video on instructions on how to set this up. Another updated feature for 1.4 is sleep mode. Now set to turn off all the screens on the UF8 and UC1 hardware instead of showing the bouncing logos on the screen. Sleep settings can be found in the SSL 360 homepage in the bottom left corner. And finally, for the UF8, we've also added two additional control profiles for Luna and Pyramix. For more information on setting these up, please refer to the UF8 user guide which you can find on the SSL website. Thanks for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed seeing all the new additional features added to SSL 360. And don't forget, all the information covered here and lots more is available on solidstatelogic.com.